guys, I'm Chris. Welcome to this week's tutorial. Let's draw together. In this week's tutorial, we'll be drawing a cute little patchwork bird in Procreate, and I'm sure you can create this too if you follow along with this video all the way to the end. It is more of a beginner tutorial today, but if you do feel rushed, be sure to hit that pause button or just rewind to catch up and save this video to your library so you can rewatch it if you need extra practice. Today, we'll be using all free brushes, one found in Procreate, the other I've included for you down below. And don't forget, once you finish this entire video, to share it on Instagram, tag me in the image as well as the description so I can find your artwork and feature you here in the next draw together video if you think this little birdie is cute and you're interested in seeing the full pack there are cats and dogs and all other sorts of things and in this illustrated clip art kit and the full information is down below as well so for this video I've created you a free color palette in case you want to use the same colors and I've also included a free watercolor brush that you can use and you can find that in the video description below where you can download and install it Okay, so let's get started by creating our canvas at 4,000 by 4,000 pixels, 300 dpi, and sRGB. And we are going to start with um, just our 6B pencil. I have it at about 80% for brush size and 100% opacity. So I'm just going to start by creating the bird's body, and it's just going to be sort of, I don't know, what shape this is, kind of like that sort of shape. I'm just gonna do it rough, and I'm gonna keep actually this a little bit more rounded here. Just sketch it out. This is gonna come to a point and then be more rounded. He's just gonna have two little, two little tail feathers there, and he'll have kind of a fun sort of little, I don't know, what this is, <laughs> little feathers on top of his head. Just kind of like that. And then two little stick legs like so. Okay. And let's see, I just want this part to be a little more, more rounded. And have a little beak, so just a little simple triangle. And I'll keep, to make it cute, the eyes fairly low. So that's our basic shape of our bird that we're going to do today. So I'm just going to move them down a touch. Uh, I just like to start with a rough sketch just to keep it loose and all that. Um, I think I'm going to actually move it around a little bit. I'm going to go to my magic wand tool, grab the liquify, have it on push, make the size quite large. I'm just going to squash in his face just a bit, have it all the way up just to make that a little bit more of a cuter shape. Maybe just make them a little fatter. There we go. Okay, good. That's why I like doing a sketch. You can mess around with it, make it exactly how you want um, without worrying about your line work or anything like that. Okay, so then I'm gonna go and take that layer, click on the N, bump back the opacity to about 15 or maybe 20% so you can see it a little bit. And I'm going to create another layer on top and now I'm going to do my line work. So again, this is going to look, I want it to look fairly nubbly and sketchy. Um, actually before that, I'm going to go and bring in my free watercolor paper that I've included for this so we can get even more of a textured look. So let's go do that. So I'm going to go to my wrench and click on that and be in the add section and I'm going to say insert file. And um, I'll just show you here. Since I've downloaded the free watercolor paper, it's gonna be in my downloads here. Yours will probably be too. So I'm just gonna click on that, import it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna make it the size of my canvas. Perfect. And since it's on the top layer, I'm just gonna click on the N and go to multiply. So that will show everything else below it and make it have that textured feel. So I'm gonna go again to my sketch layer. Actually, I'm just gonna lock this. So I'm just swiping to the left and clicking lock so we don't have to worry about moving that around by accident. Um, click on layer one, your sketch layer, add a new layer, and there we will draw our, our good copy on. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it a little bit rough, a little bit loose, I don't want it too perfect looking for this style that I'm doing. Just tracing my own work, <laughs> pretty simple. 
Okay. Oops. Kind of like to have a little bit more curve to this. There. fill that in okay so then I'm gonna go and just to create some more texture actually I can turn off my sketch layer so we can see a little bit better okay I'm just gonna go in and use the side of my pencil like you would a, a regular pencil to shade and I'm just gonna make some little bit of shadows here just to kind of have that imperfect sort of texture and just to create some shadows and I'm gonna just do that a little bit under the belly just gives it a little bit more you know the hand drawn look I think so just rubbing that in a bit just for some added details that being said this will be fairly detailed with all the patchwork we're gonna do so Just a few bits in the edges of the tail too. Okay, great. So that's just our simple outline. And I suppose we should give him a wing. That would probably be good. So I'm just gonna actually somewhat duplicate or replicate the um, shape of the body. And that will also be the wing. So I'm just gonna bring it in and have it about like that. I really like how I brought those together here. Let's do that. Okay. That's good. Actually, let's just, I'm gonna click on our squiggly line here and our selector tool, just select the wing and I'm gonna hit the arrow. Whoops, didn't let me do it. Select it, hit the arrow, and I'm just gonna resize it and move it a little bit. I just didn't like how close it was to, to the eye. Um, just gonna hit free form so I can just do this and break this. Oops, I'm snapping on. I'm gonna take off magnetics so I can freely move this a little bit better. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, so now that we have a wing, I'm gonna do the details on the wing. So, just kind of like how. Um, how shingles are on a roof. That's kind of how I'm going to do the feathers. I'm just going to do swoops. So having that staggered pattern. Just using various pressure on my pen just to make it the lines a little bit more interesting. Okay. And then again, I'm gonna do a little bit of shadowing or shading um, rather in just sort of where they meet in the edges here. Giving it a little bit of a grindy kind of look. All right, so next I'm gonna create my patterns. So the patterns are sort of inspired by a Holly Hobby type look, that sort of old school vintage-y, I don't know if it's really vintage, but I guess it's quite a while ago. <laughs> but, um, that sort of look and give them some patches. So um, just like a quilt, they're gonna be little squares and just going to kind of map these out a bit. So that'll be one square there. That one will come down here. One here. 
So like that. And then I'm just going to create little designs. So each one's going to be a little different. This one I'm going to do little flowers. So just a little circle and then five little petals. And I like having them break off so it's not perfectly enclosed. So it looks like it would wrap around a bit. So you might see a petal over there. Maybe not. Okay. This one we're going to do some circles. Okay, and we're going to do maybe some hearts here. You can do whatever you want. Make it your own. Looks kind of funny. And this one I'm going to do more of a plaid stripe, so I'm going to do some thicker lines here, thicker line across, and then have thinner lines just with the pressure of my pen. Don't have to change the sizes or anything. Some stripes like that, and then I'll do thinner line coming this way. All right, there's a pretty simple plaid. Now let's do some diagonal stripes. Actually, it's quite thin, so I gotta make it look like we can color it in there. Okay, and last, let's just do some simple little polka dots. Okay, so there, that we have our pattern all finished. Now it's time to color it in. So each little section is going to be a little bit of a different color. And so I'll try to keep my colors, like my, all my purples on one layer, my um, pink on one layer, my um, orange on another, that kind of thing. The only reason I do that is just so that I can have the freedom to change the colors if I want to make a different colored bird. Um, but of course you can have them on all one layer if you want, but that's just how I work just to give myself as much flexibility as possible in the future. So I'm going to create, um, a layer below. So I'm going to click on my old sketch layer and just add a new layer. And I'm going to start with this sort of, um, peachy, the lighter orangey color. And I'm going to go and grab my watercolor brush. So I've just put this, that free brush, I've just put it in water just just for simplicity's sake. So you can put it wherever you want. So this is that free watercolor brush and just select that. And let's see what size I have here. Um, I'm going to have it maybe about it, I don't know, 18%, 100% opacity. And I'm just going to fill this in and I am going to hold that brush down the entire time while I'm filling it so I don't get any lines. Because you'll notice if I, oops, I made a mistake. Um, if you go over it again, it'll make that thicker. So just by holding it down, you're gonna get a consistent wash. Um, and then I can go in again and do a little shadowing if I want. 
it's underneath. These aren't necessarily supposed to look totally like um, watercolor, but um, just sort of a textured um, handmade feel. So feel free to color in however you want, but that's how we're going to do it today. Um, and then I'm going to just color in this little guy here, his tail feather, and the center of these. Again, just holding my my pen down the entire time. Okay. And while I'm on the orange layer, I am just going to use the darker one as well. Um, maybe just bring this brush down to about 10% and just get in these hearts here. Okay, great. So that should be good for the orange layer. I'm going to go and make a new layer and I'm going to select the medium or the lighter sort of pink color and I'm just going to do a fill in this area. I'm just going to leave the stripes white. Okay, and I'm going to do some of these ones, um, kind of stripes in here. And this little guy up here. There we go. Okay. And next I'm going to do another layer and get that darker pink, almost fuchsia color, I suppose. I'm just going to go and fill in the negative space here. And if you make a mistake and you accidentally color in those white rings, it's okay. We can just go back and erase that in a minute. Sometimes it's a little hard to do when you're trying to keep this all pushed down in one and not lift up your brush at all. All right, so I'm just going to go grab my eraser and just, just clean that up a little bit. Okay, good stuff. Right now we're on to purple, so I'm going to add another layer and select that purple color and start with this here and these little flowers. Okay, and now I think it's our last layer. I'm going to grab the yellow and fill in these stripes here. I'm realizing I need to go back and erase those lines there to make that look more like a plaid um, where the pink is, so they are white. I'll go do that, but first I'll do these. So I'm gonna grab my eraser and I'm just gonna erase these bits here. So that gives that that pattern. While I'm here, I'm gonna go back to this pink layer and do the same, just erase this line here. So then I have that white stripe carrying through. Okay, that's good. Back to my yellow, finish this up, and I'm just gonna, oops, be on my brush and Fill this in. Just gonna do the center of these little flowers. I'm not sure you can, they're gonna pick up too much, but we know they're done. And this little tail feather here. Okay, 
Okay, so that's it for today. It was a really simple tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this in the future. I post one every Tuesday. Hope to see you back here. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.